And hello, fair world. How's everybody in this fine time of time, whatever time it is? Wherever you may be in whatever time you may be in. Time traveler. Uh, hey, folks. How's everybody doing? Um, a little later than I usually go uh, or start. Had some work stuff that was going on. Was trying to pull data from Amazon to automatically price out EC2 instances um, to get basically to look at the price differential between or like look and say like a warning if you didn't have a reserved instance running on a machine, um, which sometimes you want and sometimes you don't. Um, but like saying, hey, here's here's an instance. that's not a reserve instance. Here's the prices for the available reserved instances. And I got some pricing data and I was looking through it, but it's like, it's crazy. There's like way more of it. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Um, I'm gonna check with somebody at Amazon and see if I can figure out what's going on there. Cause it would be kind of nice to have just like a, like we're going through and we're looking at some machines and we're trying to figure out which ones are reserved and which ones aren't, we, that's easy. And then we're trying to figure out, okay, what would the price, the price breakdowns be uh, if we move these things over and the the pricing guide on Amazon isn't the best um, it's got all the information but it it's just it's a little bit it feels like it could be assembled better so what I was trying to do is like grab all the data and see if I could make my own little thing um, but I got in there with the data and I didn't understand what was going on so I'm doing it by hand um, which happens sometimes it's all good keyboard cameras on okay cool oh it's funky what's going on there Oh, it's just barely, that's just barely showing up. Um, looks like a little, over here it looks like static or, or something kind of freaking out. It's all good. Uh, so tonight, uh, I've been working on an idea for a while that I wanna get um, the audio tracks that YouTube has in their free audio library uh, audio library. So YouTube provides these tracks that is actually what you're hearing in the background right now, um, are copyright free basically. So you can, you can put these in any of your videos. Um, so I, I pulled a bunch of them, but what I'd actually like to do is make videos of them individually and put them up and then assemble playlists of them. Um, Cause the software that I have for doing playlists and stuff over here isn't that great, but also make it a little easier to deal with them, I guess. Um, and also I just thought it'd be an interesting product uh, or project. So I did, I did a couple of them um, that just manually. And so all I did was uh, see if I can find my thing here. There we go. Uh, let's see if we can find them. Yeah, so here, these two. So, but all it is is it's static. They're static images. So I found... That's one's not bad. Uh, I found some static images off unsplash.com um, that are also copyright free. And that's the thing is to get copyright free stuff. So now what I've got is copyright free videos um, that I want to actually see if I can assemble and I don't just want to play. So one, the videos aren't necessarily long enough for some of the songs, but also I just don't want to have kind of the straight video of whatever it is. Um, so, I mean, they're fine, but what I want to do is set up and randomly take, you know, 10 seconds here and 15 seconds there of the videos and just kind of mush them together randomly and just kind of make some weird things happen, I guess. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So that's that's the first thing I want to try and do is get um, and I, I have an FFmpeg command that if I can find it. Um, this one works, but without audio, this works for audio. This works. Okay, that's a positive sign. Um, yeah, so I got this one working last night. And I kind of think I understand what's happening. Um, 
based off where I've figured stuff out. Um, so now I'm less confident in that because I don't know why the V2 is here. Oh, yeah, so it's assigned. <laughs> okay. I think I, I think I got this. But so what we're going to do real quick while we're I'm looking at this one and I have it here is bin bash. I want to make these so that I, I basically I was copying and pasting these and editing them and copying and pasting. But what I want to do is actually save them as files. Um, and make uh, make them go that way. So I don't necessarily want them at the root. Um, uh, random assembly video, random assembly. Um, and then Assemble video dot bash. Probably should be sh, but whatever. All right, I'm gonna do this too. Just make sure this is working. New GIF. You working? Boop. Oh, you can't see that one though. New GIF. I'll allow it. Um. And so the next thing I want to do is find my videos, which were videos for assembly raw. What's going on? Why can't I hit that? Something weird's happening. That shouldn't be a text thing. That shouldn't be a text icon. What's going on? Uh, we're gonna quit that, and we're gonna quit that. We're gonna quit that. We working now? Okay, that was weird. Sublime Text must have had something caught. That may have been the script that I was running to, um, that I run to prep everything for the stream. It hung a little bit there, and that might have been what it was. Um, so, video. Uh, nine twenty by ten eighty. MP4. That's what all these are. It's weird that that one is different than all the rest of them, but whatever. I think they're all that way. Wait, what are these? Yeah, 980. Nine eighty or nine twenty. Oh, that one's bigger. That's 4K, I guess. Uh, we'll just do it raw then. Oh, actually, hang on. That is kind of gonna matter. Um, raw. Because it does, it does matter, at some degree, what the size. In some instances, what the size of the video is. So let's get all the 1920s. So these are all 1920. Oops, oh, that's not helpful. Uh, video this size. These are all different sizes. 1920s, nope. So 
So those are all miscellaneous sizes. That's a miscellaneous size. These are all 1920s. Okay, just getting set up. Um, so the first thing I want to try and do is just recreate this and make sure it really works. So this is it. We're gonna hang on to that. That's gonna be there for a minute. Um, actually, you know what? We're just gonna move that in. These were tests. And I really thought it would have commented this out. There we go. Nice. Okay, so now let's get one of these set up. Um, well, the first, so yeah. Uh, Dev, FFmpeg, source files, videos, miscellaneous size. So these are actually video raw, video raw. Video, um, I need for test. Because so what I did, so running the FFmpeg commands, you know, FFmpeg can take a while to do all the video magic. So uh, I got some, I made some smaller files. Tiny. Um, actually, you know what I should probably do is well, that'll be fine for now. I, at some point, I'll go through and build a script to resize them all. Actually, you know what I'm going to try and do that now, now, because um, I think that's good bash practice. Um, CLI file four. Finding files, find and replace, find all files in a directory. Starts in the current directory and process all subdirectories. I don't need to do subdirectories. Process all files in a directory. Find type F bash C. How do you do XARGs? file for changes and trigger script when it happens. Okay. Um, argument list too long in a loop. Find double double miscellaneous. Execute something on all inputs. Um, oh my god. Xargs. Why that 
keeps jumping out. Because what I want to do is make... Let's see if I can really quickly make smaller versions of all of these. And that would be a good handy command to have. Um, force x args to use the most max age arguments per command. For example, following we use the first two arguments per command, one, two. Find all that back files in or below the current directory and delete them. Yeah, so, so you pass stuff to it. As the argument list marker. Is the default argument list marker? You need to use that with various commands which take more than two arguments at a time. For example, move command needs to know the file name. The following will find all dot back files in or below the current directory and move them to a dot old files directory. Okay, so move the file name. You can rename. See, I don't understand. So here's the trick. It's like, what are these, what are these doing? You can rename blat to something else. For dash zero, if there are blank spaces or character, including their lines, many commands won't work. This option takes care of file names with blank spaces. Okay. Hey, here's the stuff I was looking for. Dash I replace occurrences of replace string and the initial argument with names read from the standard input. Replace occurrences of replace string and the initial arguments with names read from the input. Also, unquoted blanks do not terminate input. Instead, the separator is a new line character. Is it a so? We're gonna try some stuff. This is I want to get better at the command line, so we're gonna get better at the command line. Um, I'm just trying to think. So this Mexico Beach. I think I've got all these already. Um, Oh, I know something else that I want to do, maybe even first. No, let's, let's do this one first. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of these. <laughs> that stuff's been just hanging out in um, downloads for forever. All right. To find in current directory, name is star.mp4, right? I don't know how to use find. Dash print zero. Wait, oh, name. Gotta be in quotes, maybe? There we go. There's a way to do it without the dot in front of it. Find without dot in file. Path. How to find directories without dot in bash. Removing leading dots. There you go. I've been to this page before. 
to function under this finest print results. When told, when not told explicitly to find defaults, the search into the current directory. The command be simplified to find or F. Why does this matter? Only run the command under this significantly larger directory. You'll start seeing performance difference. Execute echo. We'll make your computer work leniently more because it has to start an external process like echo to run the file names. To answer your question about removing that, the more effective method would be cut. You know, the first two characters are always dot dot, so cut three will only retain characters from position three and beyond. Ah, oh, that's interesting. I don't, whatever, it's fine. Um, so X args echo, right? It's passing to echo. And is that the default? Okay, so you gotta set you gotta set this with I. Is that right? Is that what's happening? No. Oh. oh. Got it. Okay. So that's the list thing. Whatever. Yeah, so up here it says this is the default, but like you have to define it. Or you have to like tell it it's gonna be there. All right, so if that's got the file, <laughs> all right. I just want to see if you can do this on the command line um, with like one super nutso command. So we've got that. We can pass that. Well, so can you pass it to two things so file name equals hello hello how's it going we're playing with xargs end goal is to do ffmpeg uh, but right now I'm just messing around with XARGs to see if I can learn it, um, which I'm going to give it a couple minutes and then probably just roll back to the FFmpeg stuff to try and uh, auto assemble some videos um, with some raw footage. But I want to see what I can figure out in, in XARGs here real quick. Um, so file name equals that. Does this work? Echo file name. Nope. No such file or directory. Oh, export. No such file name. Uh, one more try and then we're going to bail. Oh, okay, that worked. So... Okay, so you can pass it that way into a command. Now, how would you get the other file name that you need? And file two equals, you would need to do sed substitute mp4 with mkv. There's no way this works. Yep, that hung. Okay. Ah, whatever. Okay. F of MPEG it is. Oh, I can't even get out of it. Ooh, I ripped that up good. Uh, what am I looking for? Find? Is it going? Grab. Find. Okay, it didn't kill it. Uh, or did it? Is that? Is it still trying to find stuff? 942. Yeah, I think that's still going. That's what that is. I'll look at that in a second because that may be trouble. 
Yeah, uh, control D. Now what's the definite kill? Uh, whatever, we're just gonna kill it this way. See if this works. Kill 67, 220. Ooh. We'll just close that tab, be fine. All right, FFmpeg. Um, so this is what we got. And let's, so we'll put our files in place now. So here is, actually I'm gonna yank those out of the trash just for fun. Um, oh, maybe not, there we go. That's not the trash, that's the trash. All right, so here is our test stuff. Dev, FFmpeg, source files, tiny for test. We'll throw these in there. Uh, that's fine too, yep. All right, so here's random assembly. Now we need to target those with this. So if we're in random assembly, when you go up a directory, into source files, into there for both of these. It's a very long. This could be an ugly command, but we're gonna run it from a script, so it won't matter. And then this one, we go up a directory into source files. Into MP3s. And then the file has changed to this name. All right, so let's run that and see what happens. Dev FFmpeg. Random assembly. Make it executable. Run it. Oops. Let's see what happens. Hey, something happened. There's an output. There's our file. Okay, so we got audio, we got video, and it should switch here in a second. There you go, but that fade, and it's gonna switch back in just another second. There you go. Yeah, so it's a it's a smash cut. That fade just happened to be there because of the way that the video was shot. Like that was a fade in from the video. So that works. Without, without, fade um let's just rename that so we can have it be explicit here uh actually let's do this i'll put without fade And we'll have an output directory there. All right, just one time, make sure we didn't mess anything up when we're doing that. Run assembly. Cool. Oh, I don't wanna install Catalina, no, thank you. And we'll just make sure our video's there. There it is, okay. So now we need to try and get crossfade working. Um, I spent a little time on that last night, so I guess this works. Um, one thing, let go. Goodbye. So also in downloads, 
videos for assembly, tests, crossfade. So here is where I was trying to get some crossfade stuff going. And I might have had part of it solved, but maybe not the audio. Um, I don't remember, it was getting late last night. So we're doing another one here, crossfade. Crossface, it's like face, but fade. Crossfade, random. Uh, yeah, crossfade's fine. All right, we're just gonna suck all this stuff right up in there for right now. Oh, I just realized you could do symbolic links to things and then point it to small files or big files, depending on what you wanted to do. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Only mildly confusing. Um, so let's open both of these, see what we got. All right, this one might actually be in good shape. In which case, we might be farther along than I remembered. So we're gonna get out here. Which one is that? Test bash and make. Let's do make. This looks good, actually. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe that doesn't matter. Five audio. Oh, I must not have put in. I'm only using four of the clips. I guess it doesn't matter. That's cool. Okay, this might work. No such file or directory. I have must something up. That's okay, we can actually do, we can point those up, right? Uh, so here is, these are ugly. Boneyard small. I'll put this over here for a second. Where'd mother file go? Lost it. Oh, I just did that to the wrong version of Sublime Text. That's what's going on. So Boneyard Small. Finlandia Small. Really, I should just be able to do this. And hopefully they'll all work. And the Buckaroo Banzai one is now here. All right, let's see what that does. No such file directory, Ferris wheel. Oh, I didn't put a that or that or that. Take three. No such thing as GL transition. Ah, oh, okay. No GL transition. Need to recompile. To get it to work. How do you spell recompile? R E C O M P I P I L E. Recompile. Okay. So let's mark that. Does not work. 
this test one. This one I think does work. Get rid of this. I want to kill the output file here. Here we go. Uh, can you use wire cards for I arguments? Or do you need to preserve the order or something? Yeah, so I think what goes on here is you do need to preserve the order um, because the this index here, the zero for video, represents a zero indexed file of the way that you do these inputs. So I've got two inputs, zero and one. And so I'm making a clip from index zero from trimming it from zero seconds to 10 seconds. The output of this is video is like output video zero as a tag. And then here we go back and we get the one index of the input video. Um, as for using wildcards, I don't, you talk about like doing like input start on MKV. Um, I have no idea what that would do. Um, I th yeah, so actually it might work. Let's see what happens. Um, hang on, let me, so what, what was the one that worked? That one's the one that worked. Let's see what happens. Uh, let me close some windows and then open some windows because I named that wrong and go to data. Nope, go to dev. There, crossfade, nope, random assembly. I want to name that fade, because that's really what it is. I'm going to duplicate that real quick. Wild card. All right, so we have two MKVs. Let's see what happens. No idea. Place your bets. Um, yeah, so source file is high star dot whatever for an input, because it's still going to want two. So what may happen, maybe, is it'll take the first two that it sees and runs with them. Um, it's weird that that V2 is there. Oh, 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 okay, I get it. Yeah, so. The V's on this side are the indexes of the inputs. The V's on this side um, are the assembled versions. So this, we cut from index zero to new zero. We cut from index one to new one, but then we cut back from zero to index to index zero to two. And so then we assemble zero, one, two. Um, and let's see if this explodes. Uh, we're going to go to random assembly, random assembly, assemble, fade, wild card. Uh, stream specifier V and filter graph description. I don't think it liked it. Oh, matches no streams. Okay. Yeah. I th so I think you actually do need to have the explicit eyes in there. Yep, looks like it. Um, there may be a way to hack around that, but that's that would be the first way I'd do it with the with the cards and it didn't with the wild cards and it said no. Um, here I'm gonna kill that one, but we'll make a note about it.
All right, meh, interesting test. Um, why is that ever down the? They go dark or something. It's kind of weird. Uh, okay, so that's cool. We got that. Make video. So this is the one that we just ran, right? Crossfade, make video. So I think this crossfades. Oh, it's six minutes. Crap. Video is one, two, three. Okay, so we should see if this. No, wait, that's the wrong one. That doesn't work. Wait, what the hell did I just run? Test one. Okay. Don't save. Crossfade. Test one. Yeah, X doesn't work. Okay. This is the one we just ran, right? Yeah, I don't totally understand how all this stuff happens um, or what it's doing. And by don't totally, I mean I largely don't. Um, so it may, we make a black fade background. This is for setting a start point. So it takes the input from video zero, which is boneyard small. And it turns that into the output video zero. We take video one, which is Ferris wheel small. We do some magic there. Fade in. ST0, D4. So duration is, D is duration. Alpha 1 parts 350. Yeah, so I, I had to do some math here to get the things to work. Because here, here was the original output, or here's the original. Oh, I wrote that in the wrong file. Oh, well, we'll do that in a minute. Uh, here, move it now. There we go. So crossfade, output. I'm not sure when it crossfades. A crossfade D4. Leave that there for a second. Fade duration, start points, video length, fade duration. It's way back here at the end, right? Yeah, okay, so it's way back here at the end. So there's the fade, which actually, that wasn't a bad fade. Um, also, it like spins up here in a second. It's kind of funny. It's like, almost looks like a decent cut. There you go. Um, now how, so... are these A's all of a sudden? Zero, one, A, one. Base, video one, overlay, temp. See, this stuff is just like, not so. Um, to get back to the same page, I'm sure. Let's move those there, so I've got them. So the command for adding crossfade to two videos, five seconds each, should be one, two. I think that's the format, color black.
This will fade out the first video to alpha at fourth second, SD4, during one second, duration one. Fade in the second one at zero seconds, SD0, duration one. It moves its display time forward to four seconds, plus four TB. Then we just cut nine seconds of black color, scale it to the output video size, and overlay the stuff. Hope that helps. See, there's this GL translation, and I'm... Or transition, sorry. But I don't have that installed on my FFmpeg, and I'm trying to... I'm debating about whether or not I actually want to go ahead and just recompile. I'd rather not, but we may get there. This is a different command, though, than the one that I had. Fade. Attempt to bash. All right. So once again, I just want to see if I can get this going as is. Where's my other one that I had on my fancy names? I understand what's happening. It keeps opening in a different sublime text every time. That is why I'm confused. Do that. And that. Attempt to output. Ah, oh, actually. Well, reason we did that, right? Empty output, whatever, for whatever, that's fine. Crossfade. No such file or directory. We need an output directory before we do that. Big files? They shouldn't have been that big. Those are the small files, right? Yeah, wow, that's taking a long time. It's gonna take forever with big files. That's crazy. Yeah, so the way I do this is I just grab a whole bunch of things and then try and mush them together and see which ones I can make work. Um, if I can get some of them working, then you can kind of like triangulate it on a little bit. Um, I'd like to see, I don't know, FFmpeg course. Like you could spend a huge amount of time doing this. How to use FFmpeg. was definitely slowing down my machine. All right, let's see what that did. Oh, interesting. Oh, there's a crossfade. No, wait. Well, I couldn't tell if that was a cross... Ah, see, I need to use something that doesn't have...
Whoa, okay. So I, first thing first, we need to use one that doesn't have a fade in it itself. Uh, tiny for test. Fire, fire doesn't, right? Just fire. Fire, all the way, no fades. Your input can't be opened. What the hell? Okay, being hacked. So there's that. Okay, so somehow it got time involved because it went for many minutes. So video zero, format picks formats, and this is another video format, fade. Fade T out, ST4, duration one, alpha one. Set points, point start points, VA one. So that should be, or VA zero, that's down here. So why did it go for as long as it did? Oh, I wonder, hang on, let me know what's going on. So Boneyard small. Is five minutes, almost six minutes. Fire is some number of seconds. This 920, V2, okay, so. What, how big are these actually? I don't think it tells us. Uh, let's see. Video tiny. One sixty by ninety. Okay, so let's start by putting that in. Because that's probably why it boomed up on us. Fade in zero one alpha. Set the start point at plus four TB, whatever TB is. Time something, I guess. And that goes into video one. Video two. Trim duration nine over. Still don't totally get it, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I need to get rid of those or I'll get them in my way. Crossfade. So attempt to output, okay. Yes, please, all right. And I think I may know, okay, that went much faster. So the first thing we're to do is add a dash Y here because that will automatically make it over right, which is what we'd like. Yeah, see, this is going to that five minutes and 50 whatever. But it fades into the fire. And I don't think it fades back out of the fire, which I think is why we see the black for the rest of the time. 
or the last frame of it, whatever. I just hung it, okay. But that looked okay, right? I wasn't paying attention to the actual thing I was supposed to be paying attention to. Okay, so that's how we can do a fade. Where do we, so there's a shortest that we can apply. Which I don't remember where. It's probably right here. Maybe just one S or one dash. See if that doesn't make it, uh, no, it still says five minutes. Hmm. Okay, 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 it's all right. Because in random assembly, So that's the same. What is that one? Oh, that was test one. So that kind of worked. I need to put some notes in there in a second. This works. Smash cut videos together. Yeah, it's funny because like this this gets me most of the way there, but like I'm at, no, I want to crossfade. Okay, so this gives us. There's that concatenation thing that's happening there. Oops, come here. Map out V. Map out. Map 2A, I think that's for the audio. Zero, one, two, audio. Yeah, so output, okay. Out V is here. Oh, okay, 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 I think I'm getting it. Where does V2 or 2V get set as over? Over. VA zero, which is here. Becomes over one. So that's, so that, those are taking the two videos and overlaying them. Duh. Um, like literally the name of the thing. And then that creates this, which is then used as the combination of these two to overlay to get to that one which goes to out v which gets you here okay i think i i think i follow that or i think that's that feels like it makes sense or something so it's giving us So you would cut, okay. Um, okay, so this works. Let's not screw this.
Okay. Save that, so we're gonna make another one. Attempt to be bash. So we're getting our files. Fade. This will fade out the first video to alpha at fourth second, SD4. Fade, transition, out. Start for, for one second. Fade in the second one at zero second. During one second. And move its display time forward by four seconds. Then we just cut nine seconds of black color, scale it, Trim duration nine. One, two, four, five, six. Why does that? Hi, thanks very much. Crossword it works like a charm. So what happens is the output video is that only the top left shows the original, and the rest of the frame is missing. I look at the resolution, input's 960, output is 7 through 30, but doesn't scale down the whole video, so it cuts. Okay. Okay, you should ask. You should also scale black color to resolution that you want to get. It's the updated answer. I would scale to filter graph. Scale, okay. Concat? Sorry, I looked at GL transition. I didn't look at concat. Oh, no, it's a different thing. Crap. I should totally just install those. Oh, eh, I should just install those. Kind of bummed they don't come with it. Um, oh, it's the same thing. But I'll see if I can solve this. Because I want to learn how this works. Okay, so that works. They're just doing your smash cuts. So you could trim it. So let's see if we can trim them. Uh, you can go away for right now. Trim zero, trim zero to 10, nah, 30, 20. Oops, 2B or 2B. Fresh nod. that does went faster wrong place 20 seconds okay okay so that's kind of working choked again But we're making progress.
Why does it keep... I guess it uses the first input as the length of the video. But why does it take shortest? And also, why doesn't the trim cut it? This is point start VA zero. I uh, can't see that. Still can't see it. There we go. Maybe. It's a trim 20 pixel format. That none of that should matter. Actually, can we take that out? No, I'm not gonna screw that. Fade T out that four seconds. So it fires after four seconds, right? Let's just make sure that that's really what's happening so we understand what's going on. Two, three, four, fade. Takes a second and then you're there. Okay, so that all makes sense. To alpha one, set start point zero. That be so this is video one, that's zero. Two is scale, time duration, nine of over. Nine becomes over. I don't understand where it's getting the time frame from. Cause like we've we've got most of it. If we can just figure out the timing. I get duration in seconds. Nah. Got a set of videos duration. T option is specified time limit. This sets the max time to three seconds. Note that the T has to be just before the output file. It's not where we're headed. Um, trim, why doesn't that trim work? FFmpeg shortest. Add audio, but keep the video's length the same. Leave length, complex, a pad, whatever. Let's look at a bunch of these. Shortest. Finishes encoding when the shortest input stream ends. So why didn't that f go? Oh, maybe the stream keeps going? Even though you trim it? Oh, but that's it. Trim, but keeps playing. How do I remember you dropping frames? Yeah, let's look at the rest of these. Uh, video produces with shorter or longer than the audio. Okay. 
Creative tool to create a grid of movies. A pretty bunch. Cool fun effect. Problems if I'm shooting the shortest movie to determine. Remove the shortest one from each overlay. By default, the shortest input for the overlay will simply stop the last frame. And the last frame will be repeated while the longer input continues. Where did he put shortest? Overlay. Shortest equals one. That does. 14 seconds. I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay. So that's solid for there. Update with update from to that. This keeps the video. at the defined duration, I think. Uh, it's still a weird... Oh, VTrim 20, the thing doesn't, the second one doesn't last that long. So wait, so if we do V, so this is fades out. VA0 overlay over VA0. Okay, so though we just happened to get lucky and put that in the right place, is what just happened. Overlay VA1. So if we do, so after four seconds, it's going to fade. What happens if we just do this for four seconds? Does that get us like an eight second video? Still 14 seconds. All right, I'm not gonna screw with this one. This is fine. Um, Actually, what we're going to do does not work. Okay, output, cool. We're going to get rid of these. I want to move this all into the same thing. Because it's really all the same project. Okay. So this is zero one. Symbol without fade. But that does have audio, right?
All right, we can leave all our set stuff there. Actually, we can do, let me grab this. Oh, that's for the tr transition, we'll do it in a second. Output, get rid of that. There we go. This has sound, right? Okay, I need to do a different input video on that because I don't like the fade. The fade throws it off, right? The fade in the actual video throws it off. Um, Mexico Beach Mall, how big are you? That'd probably work. Cool. All right, one more time. Nothing in there. Okay, cool. I should clip these down a little bit so it's a little faster and do the smash cut. There it is. So I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna clip these just a little bit. I'm gonna add one more in here, which is hopefully I understand what's happening. Oops. Gotcha. So that is going to move the audio to track three. Video one, audio zero out. So mapping out. And so let's make these go faster. So three seconds. Three seconds, and then this is a start and an end point. So whatever three, and then seven. So that's actually going back to the first one. Zero, one, two. We're gonna go to two, one, zero. Zero, one, two, this will be three, four, five. I should, definitely should have made another version of this file in case this doesn't work. Where's revert? Cool. All right, we're gonna run that and just not screw with that. All right, everybody's cool. Everybody's cool. Save as more files, which really should have been zero two. No, it was test one bash. Oh, crap. I mean, it kind of doesn't matter, but I really kind of want to know. Um, I mean, I want these kind of in order. Yeah, so this was actually the first one we did. Filter complex.
It's our boneyard. Ferris wheel. Or of Excavate, Beach, whatever. All right, so save that, close that, close that. Tier one, working. Maybe. I want to see what this does. Uh, actually, let's open it. Output. Zero one, working. Does this one work? Actually. What does this one do? So I think this just video but there's a fade towards the end. I think, and not this one. Uh, well, let's try and see what it's doing. Source video fade duration for Boneyard, Mexico Beach. That's a boneyard. It's still a boneyard. That's Mexico Beach. Okay. So there's a smash cut in here. Maybe. Oh, that was the base fade. Okay. Right, because let me see Mexico Beach. Just want to make sure. Yeah, okay, that's where we ended up. the fade but no audio plays full length of videos not sure which one sets the time That's not so good, man. Everything gonna like be okay, or is it like bad, bad, bad? Also, hello. Oops. How'd that go over? How'd that go over? <laughs> I mean, still not good, but. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're not like in trouble though, right? She's not like freaking out about it. Okay, so this works. No audio. Plays full-length video. 
but I couldn't figure out why did I jump off of this one? <laughs> she just kind of like turn and leave. Okay, this one can sit. I'm going to guess in a little while it won't matter. Just do, like don't do it again. Um, and it'll... My guess is that'll be the kind of thing that blows over in a couple days, hopefully. And she's not like freaked out about it for real. Um, though, like, I would need to see video of the conversation to really give you an idea of how screwed you are. Um, hopefully the answer is not very or really at all. Uh, good luck. <laughs> As I say, Godspeed. Um, all right, so this is working basic. Working basic. Oh, was that a fade? Okay, hang on. Uh, see. Working, zero one working. Hmm, right. So does this have the fade or no? Is that what's happening? Or is it back in here somewhere? That's a nice fade. That's actually a well cut fade is what that is. Happy accident, okay. So this does the fade, but no audio, plays full length video. Why did I back off of this one? Color black, 160 by 90. Oh, cause I couldn't figure out all the ins and outs of it. Okay, so you only have to fade in. You don't necessarily have to fade out. Oh, okay, that's cool. Uh, notes. Uh, actually, let's do it in notes. Oh my god, do I have these sitting here already? These are very different things than I've seen before. <sighs> Clip in before whatever that is. One clip filter complex. One goes fade out at 30. Overlay fade in, no idea. Trim two seconds, crossfade one. Fade in and fade out with both audio and video. Audio fade, you want? Okay. That's audio crossfade. All right. This is one of those things, there's got to be 150 ways to do this, but. Um, Do one or the other. Okay. I don't want to jump. So I've got too many of these, is what's happening. Um, so that working one, 
Zero one. All right, backing up, one at a time. Assemble without fade. That's this one. So this does a smash cut. Smash cut. Okay. Assemble fade. Assemble without fade. More files. Smash cut together. So this is just smash cut one, right? No? What the hell? These are the same freaking file. Oh, okay, okay, wait, wait, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Smash cut without fade more files. So this is gonna be three. Fade. Basic fade. Which is really probably gonna be four. Okay, but I wanna do this one and make sure I understand what's happening here, make sure I can assemble these. We're gonna port this over to a flash cap to cut videos. That'd be cool. Yeah. Um, I hadn't thought about that. You totally could, though, right? I mean, you could just so like. Well, I don't know. It's weird because like the whole thing for this is it's kind of gonna be headless. Like, I'm just gonna like have a bunch of raw material, and just hit run and then have it go. Um, But you could, yeah, you could fire that off from Flask, or you could get, or you could like set some assembly instructions up. So let's say like, hey, I want these videos to be the inputs, um, or even like, a, like, hey, these, you know, make the clips or whatever, uh, and do some assembly that way. Um, that would be kind of cool. I like that. For my for my thing, I just like I'm gonna go like it's gonna be loop through a bunch of files, uh, loop through a bunch of MP3 MP3 files. For each one of those, grab a bunch of random videos, smush them together from random clips, from random videos for random times to make the video un underlay of the audio. And then that'll be the, the assembly. Um, and then I'll write another script that actually uploads all those things to YouTube. Um, will be the next, the final part of it, just to have like a whole bunch of that crap up there. So that's where I'm headed. Um, if I can remember which one of these does what. All right, so we've got, so yeah, let me actually, f I wanna flip this. So this is fade with more files. So I'm gonna add two more files in here and make sure I understand what's happening. Why? Oh, I see, I don't, don't wanna do that. I'll we'll do it here. One, two, so beach small. Mm, yes, we are going to do that because I don't currently have this going. Kind of, mm. I don't want to version the source files though. Yeah, I'm just still kind of getting all this stuff cleaned up. Um, so source files can actually come up here. Well, actually, here, we can do this. This will work for now. I just don't want to version all those, like, video files. That is space that's wasted.
commit. It's a very strong commit, that's what that is. Yeah, you know what I should do actually is do this so I can keep them that way and make it a little easier to deal with. Oh, I don't need to do the output either. Output or output slash? Oh, well, we just do it this way. Oh, how does it work? Get ignore directory, empty directories. There we go. Uh, Sublime text open? Yeah. All right. Got to do this for a minute. Um, so that's a simple files without fade. So that one's cool. We're good to go there. Here's going to be more videos. Oh, and Rex could have to do. So we're there. We need to go up. And into example files. So I think if we do this, not regex, and do that, it might run. We will find out momentarily. So fire small, we'll use fire small. Ferris wheel, small. All right, and then so zero to ten. So I'm going to do these all at three seconds. I'm going to do these all at five seconds because I can do that math easier. Um, and who cares if we actually do it from, oh, actually, yeah, some of these might not be 20 seconds long. So then we go three, four. Three, four. Audio has to go to zero, one, two, three, four. Number of files, one, two, three, four, five. I think. Video one, audio one out, all that stuff. Um, is there a way in Bash to get the file name of the file that you're running? I think there is, right? Bash, get, turn it, file name. Base name. So, I think we can add that there. So, which one am I doing? Assemble without fade more files. Which really should be zero 03. No, zero 02. That's all right. Permission denied. Let's execute it. Hey, it looks like it worked. That'll make it easy for when I rename the files. Uh, open output zero two. All right, so it's 25 seconds long, right? Which is what we expected. 
five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, whoops. I didn't change these, so it's gonna it's gonna loop back on itself. That'd actually be an interesting test. It's gonna loop back on itself, if I understand what's happening here. So the first time back, and now it's gonna do this, come back right to the same place. Yep. Oh, that's interesting. And I do it again, and then it ends after this. Gotcha. Okay. Smash punt together. Okay. Got it. That makes sense. I understand what's happening there. Um So smash cut together, smash cut with more. Um Does the fade but no audio. That works. Okay, so I'm actually going to call this three. realized I need to change my fonts here so that some of these fonts probably don't show up as great on all the screens. Um, yeah, because the initial stuff is down there. So that's, I'm gonna leave that. Uh, so the other one, zero one working, we're gonna do this for all of our files. Just go ahead and get that taken care of so that we don't have to mess with that, which is very nice. Okay, so what's the difference between these? Oh, this is where you did the overlay shortest. So this cuts it down to the short level. Okay, so let me do this as th three. And also just to check and see that this actually works, we do O three. Oh, I didn't update all the files. Oh, well, look at that right there. Handy. Does that work? Does that work? Does that work? Oh, three is super slow. So this is going to be O four crossfade, I think. update it and this is gonna be a five crossfade two crossfade too long that's what that is This is one of the handiest things I've ever done. It's 
So go four. Also a little slow, but that's all right. Oh five. Super fast. Uh, fade. Oh, it's doing dot bash dot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, I don't care about that. I really don't care about that. That's funny. You could flip. You could do a split or do something and grab that. Um, but I don't care. Also makes it easy to actually say like that was the old one. Working, not much. Oh, see, this is much better. Just it lines up. I love it. So this is too long. Yeah, that's the five minute one. And here's the f however long, 14 second one. Sweet. Okay. All right, so duplicate this. 06, work in progress. Goal is cross between four files. So this one had four files, right? Cross shortest. Between four files. Okay, so I should do three files to start with. Just add one. Don't need to make it more complicated. Also, the name changed, which I wish Sublime Text would pick up on. It does not. Okay, so. If we just run this as is, it's basically going to be identical to the other one, right? So it's 24 seconds. Yeah, so it's just doing the same thing. It's got a crossfade, that's cool. So it works with an, just adding the things in here. I'm just gonna try and add things one at a time and see what happens. So. So zero video two video so there wasn't actually anything lined up in slot two scale one nine so so you're just making one out of thin air i guess trim duration nine and you're calling that over super weird okay so just to start with
did not like that. Oh, okay. So this is going to be two and this is going to be three. Uh, actually, hang on a second. I want to do a fade in instead of a fade out. So this is going to be two. This is going to be three. I'm not going to mess with anything else at the moment. And this is going to be two. Okay, let's see if that still works. Filter setups has unconnected output. Oh, interesting. Doesn't like that, huh? Where do we put that? Ah, <laughs> crap. All right. Oh, wow, okay. So, shit. So if we put in a duplicate of this with over one and over two and call this two and call this three and call that one. No way that works. Stream specifier over three and filter graph description, something blah, 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 blah. Matches no streams. Ah, oh, wait a minute. How about that? Uh oh. Something happened. Still 24 seconds. There's a Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel went faster, but I think that's just what it does in the video. Also what it does in the video. Okay. So we didn't break anything. Oh, that one has a fire. Okay. So we went from the Ferris wheel to the fire. How long is this one? 14 seconds, this one's longer. So it's got the Ferris wheel. It's 24 seconds, okay. So the Ferris wheel time is happening. Ferris wheel time. Okay. So how, so th V3 becomes over. Let me see what happened again. Also, it's weird because I would have thought Mexico Beach would have been in there. Because that's the second one. But it went to the Ferris wheel. So that worked for the over. It's weird. Oh, wait, wait, wait. do you have to? Not entirely sure what that does, but it might push it forward so that the other one gets to play. It went to 30 seconds, it got longer. 
There's Mexico Beach. Give me a Ferris wheel. Okay. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Now the question is how... Okay. So that works. Sweet. Okay, and so now we've got the pattern that we can use. Okay, cool. So now I want to try and trim them. So working with three files is fine. So we've got trim. So okay. Set the star. So this start PTS so that starts it at zero and this starts it at four seconds I don't understand exactly what this does let's Google this PTS stands for presentation timestamps. See what is video time scale, time base, or timestamps are. Uh, the set PTS filter evaluates its expression and assigns the value as the timestamp for the current frame it's processing. Set PTS two times n plus five divided by TB, where n is the frame index starting at zero, and TB is a time base for the stream. Okay, TB is time base. Let's say it's a thousandth of a second. So each PTS is one millisecond. So for each frame, it would go as, okay. Filters work upon multiple input syncs by timestamp. I overlay filter. The filter overlay, overlay. Input with timestamp 5.0 upon main endpoint with PTS time five. The streams have different starting PTS. This can lead to unexpected output. So timestamps are reset. So each stream starts from zero. In trimming values, you can often run into issues where the start isn't from zero anymore. So when using the SS the T flag, you might wonder Resetting that. I don't totally understand that. And I don't totally understand why this works here this way, but here there's just let set at zero. Because we're doing trims. Um, start at Wait a minute, this doesn't make any sense. I 
I mean, I'm sure it makes sense. It doesn't make any sense to me. Like, the computer's doing what I'm telling it to do. So about four seconds, it fades in there. And that goes for a little while, for about four seconds, and then it fades in. If I change that to 20, what happens? Oops, first you gotta run the thing. Oh, okay, it just went to 40 seconds. So that must mean that we're just going to see 18, 19, 20. Okay, so that's starting... So it's going to go like boom, boom, fades. One, fade, one, fade. Okay. So that's when the fade kicks off. And then it just goes to the length of the clip. But if we set the length of the clips to five seconds, like I guess the first one doesn't, no, so if you do the fade, that ends the clip. Duh, that makes sense. So even if we trim it, so start at four seconds, do one second, start at zero seconds. Oh, that's fade in. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, I think we're getting the hang of this. So this should be like a seven second video. Seven seconds. Because it's going to go one, two, and then five seconds. Got it. Okay. I think I understand what's happening. Trim crossfades. Okay, so that's it. I've got it. That's it. Actually, yeah, I don't need... So let me get this one working. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. So, oh, so this would be another thing. So I bet if we did this, if we do each of these at 10 seconds,
start at zero fade in, start at four to fade out? I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. That, you're doing plus four there is when that takes over. So this was starting a fade out at four and this started at four. So that's how they came in and started at zero. I understand now what's happening. But if we do, if we start at 10 and we start this at 10 and we start this at 15, uh, 18, whatever. So 10 seconds, trim to 10, start that at 10. This could actually be trimmed to eight, but I'm gonna leave this at 20. I wanna see what happens with this trim duration nine over on the scale. So I wanna see what happens in that second, um, that second transition. In other words, if the scale needs to be the length of the full thing. Oh, just stopped. Oh, it wants to run out of clip. I don't know what just happened there. It didn't do the Mexico clip. I goofed on something. Maybe I don't understand what's happening. That was fast. That's because it exploded. Okay, now it's doing something. But why? Oh, probably that. See, it goes immediately. I don't understand that. I mean, I do understand that, but I don't understand why then this didn't work. Start at 10. Go for one second. This should start fading in at 10. The trim seems like I need like clocks going to watch this stuff. Seven, eight, nine. See, why does it stop there? Because it's trimming it, I know, but so how does it, how do you get it to start?
Filter evaluates the expression and assigns the value as the timestamp for the current frame it is processing. Doesn't help me. Here are the frames are taken from each input video in timestamp order, so it's a good idea to pass all overlays through the inputs, all overlay inputs through that filter to have them begin with the same zero such as V0, H flip, set points, something A, we want to X point B, A, B overlay. Understood. How, how do I start the video though? Where the frame, yeah, okay. Change the presentation timestamp of input frames. Works on video frames, works on audio frames. This filter accepts auction, expressing the value of the order. The expression is evaluated through the eval API, conclude the following constraints. Wait a minute. So, start PTS. PTS equals start PTS. But why? I guess the other one's doing it too, probably. I just don't, I'm not familiar enough with the videos. Start PTS plus 18, but it trims it. I want the clip, the count of the input frame for the video of the number of consumed samples, not including the current frame rate starting from zero. the PTS interlaced sample rate time in seconds of the current frame previous input PTS previous input in time previous output wall clock time based of the inputs okay Apply an offset of 10 seconds to the input. Wait a minute. Apply an offset of 10 seconds to the input. Okay. Let's just see what that does. Didn't explode. 38 seconds, okay. Ten. Stops again. Fuck. I need to concatenate them. That's what's happening. These are overlays. Okay, I got it.
So you need to overlay and concatenate. Over plus V zero. Overlay shortest over one. Over one. VA one, which is gonna be over here. Makes an output of over two. Got it. FFmpeg concat overlay. Overflay, overlay, 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 underlay. Video concat and overlay, super user, here we go. You can do this one command with a concat filter. All right, let's look at this. Input, 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 overlay, filter complex, take them all and concatenate them. into VV and A. The filter complex instead of VF since the documentation. Also, you don't need the movie source filter. This will place an overlay in the top right 10 pixels. Concat, crossfade. Everybody's gonna tell me to go back to that. I don't wanna do that. Got any three videos with crossfade. Yes, we might have found an answer. So there's our parts. See, they're doing this offset again. They're not trimming it. See, they're doing this again. Don't expect that to change anything. It's probably those trims I've gotten there. But what I'm wondering, oh, so you could start, oh, I could actually, I could check this. No, no, I'm looking for. So here's the question. Flip these. And let's just see what happens there. So it should start the beach and it's gonna die out after 10 seconds.
which you won't super be able to tell because it's not moving a lot. In about 18 seconds, I think, is when the other thing comes back in. Boom. So is that the start of the Ferris wheel clip is one question I should ask myself. I think it is kind of the start. So... But that still doesn't make sense. Trim from zero to 10. Maybe the order matters? Hang on. Let's see what that does. Mm, didn't blow up. Wait a minute. It should have started with Mexico Beach. I think that was still going. It was, okay. Chokes. That's okay, okay. Let me see something I should have looked at a little while ago. So undo, 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 undo. That's probably good, right, right. So we're gonna drop trim, drop trim from all these, because the except on the last one, we're gonna fade at ten seconds for duration of one second. We're gonna start at zero. We're gonna go to one. We're gonna start at zero. We're gonna go to one. So if we start that at ten seconds. Does it start 10 seconds into the clip? Which I probably need to do it slightly farther than that. Oh, what the hell? It choked again. Oh, so there's something else going on. Does six work still? Six fades. Like, I want to solve this. Like, I'm about to pass out, but... Um, it's one of those things. Once I've solved it once, I never have to deal with it again. So, And I feel like I'm close. Even though I don't understand what just happened. Um, like, why it's not doing the same thing it's doing in the other file. So there's no trim in here. Oh, look, that's the only other thing I did was I put those in but like it was breaking before I put those in. Oh wait, this was different. Okay. Let's see what that does. Nope, that was the wrong one. We need to do seven, seven. Okay, so does break at 10 seconds, does it start 10 seconds into the Boneyard video? It's not working again. What the fuck? We 
are going to start over. And just reset. And hope that this actually works. Fade, okay. Not sure what that choke was, but I should go look at that. So start at 10 seconds, duration of one second. This is supposed to kick in at 10 seconds. And the boneyard clip is larger than that. All right, here's what we're going to do. Um, oops, that was not what I meant to do. I'm going to do this and that's going to be it. Uh, diff isn't really, uh, maybe it will. So here, whatever, save, desktop. I don't expect to find much here, but it'll maybe point something out if I can see it side by side. 07, text. Yes, text, please. Thank you. Or six. That's not what I meant. That's what I meant. This is what I meant. Oh, six text. Yes, please. So that's six. That's seven. So we flipped the lines. The only thing that we changed was trim, which was there in six, and then the start time, and those things. But like, I guess that means, no, that doesn't make any sense. That does not make any sense. Because why is it just dead stop? Like, especially when we remove... So in 7, we even remove the trims. Four point start for like I don't get it. Cause it's not waiting. I don't understand. Alright, all the trims are gone. Start at four seconds. Start at four seconds. Do it at four seconds, do it at 10 seconds. That's basically what we had, right? The trims are still in the other one, but we're, we'll add those in a sec. Well, actually, yeah, fuck it. No, I wanna see if this goes, I wanna, cause that's, I don't need to get to the exact same file. I don't think. Okay, that fades, and it's coming in. But that, ah, oh, it just hung there for a second. Uh, 
Because if I start here, I want to move this back to 18. I want to move this back to 10. I want to move this back to 10. about 18 it'll clip to the other one now what the hell man because none of them are clipped that other one is definitely longer than 18 uh, than 10 seconds the boneyard one is It's like five minutes long, six minutes long. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Shit, hang on a second. So is this, hmm, hang on, you go away. You go away. What's that? Okay, first of all, what's that going to do? It's going to make a much longer video. It's kind of a good sign. Oh, I got to go. Six minutes. Okay. So 10 seconds in, we're gonna flip. Thank you, and that is the start of that one. Okay. It was the shortest calls in there that I had. Don't leave. <laughs> I'm gonna, you're gonna see me asleep on the microphone here in a second. I do want to make sure I've got this solved, though. So that's the explicit start of this. When does it cut? I want to see when this cuts to the next scene of itself, like in its own thing. 15, come on, switch. And also, I'll bet you... So this is where you can use trim probably to cut it. Okay, so at 23 seconds, so... Uh, too early. I don't know. I think I've got meetings in the morning. Um, the, but also I find myself needing more sleep these days. Otherwise I just get like totally squirrely and can't concentrate and focus for hours at a time. Um, but yeah, it's, I'm just need the need to sleep. I've discovered I like the sleep too. All right, so let's do this as the last test to see if we actually understand what's going on. So I'm gonna move this to 20 seconds. So it's gonna start fading at 20 seconds. This video is gonna start playing, and it's gonna go for one second. Oh, actually, let's do a test. Let's put this for 22 seconds. Because I think that means it's gonna start playing at 22 seconds on the overall stream, which means we should have one second of nothing. And then we'll just do this one at 26 seconds. So it should only last for two seconds and then the other one starts. But we, actually, hang on, we're gonna do this at 20 at 30 seconds. 32 seconds, 36 seconds. I think I, I have an idea of what might happen, maybe. Mainly what I wanna see is this video, when it starts, it should start here, even though we're gonna be, the 
overall timeline is going to be 30 seconds in, which means if it if it was already playing in the background, it would start somewhere here instead of with the stuff on the ground. It's a cool shot. Can't remember if I ran it or not. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Whatever. Let's see if I can find it again. Cross your fingers. Six minutes. Okay. This is going to be a very long 30 seconds. But I'm not going to fast forward because I'm afraid that would take things out. Wow, it's only 18 seconds. Seems like a very long 18 seconds. Do your thing. I want to see a second of nothing. Nope. But at least it started there. Okay. Oh, did it? Did it just hang at the end of the 30 seconds? Oh, it hung. Okay, so it keeps the last it keeps the last frame there. Okay, that's fine. And then that kicked over. Okay, I understand what's happening now. And then one last test is, so we're gonna shorten all that stuff. Shorten all that stuff. So we're gonna start the fade at 10 seconds for one second, five, eh, five seconds, let's go faster. At five seconds, six seconds. We want this to start at six seconds. This one will kick in at 10 seconds, but we're gonna trim this one to another 10 seconds. Cause right now the clip is six minutes long. This should make it six seconds plus however many seconds plus 10 seconds. Why don't, let's actually do the math. So five seconds. This is gonna start at five. This is gonna start at 10 and it's gonna go for 10. Oh, actually, that should have been independent. It shouldn't have mattered with these first two because it's the when this one starts and when it ends. So this should be a 20 second video. How do I make the video happen like this? Fuck off. OK. Ah, uh, it's a six minute video. God. So there's the five second clip. There's the five or the other five second clip, but that is going to keep going. Oh, it's dead stopped. Fuck. See, that's where the shortest came in. But when we had those, it was it was freaking it out. What if we only do shortest on the last one? Nine seconds. Wait, it was supposed to be shorter than that. It got much shorter. That's a positive thing. But it's stuck. Like it's, it's right there. It's just right there. All right, what if we do this? Last last test and then I'm calling it for the evening. Oh wait, overlay. Wait, there's another overlay. We didn't do this. Uh oh. Yeah. 
knew it was too good to be true. What if we put it here? Nope. Error applying options to this filter, or initializing filter overlay with arg shortest and format one complete. Or maybe you put a comma in there? How does this work? I'm just guessing at this point. Input format args. Because that was the format, right? Here, let's try it here. Overlay. That might be, that actually might be it, is getting that on that last one. That would seem like a natural place to do it. Six minutes, so that didn't do it. Cause it's, and so when I caught it here, that got it down to 29 seconds. Which I don't know which one of those, that was a weird cause it still died. Overlay, shortest format, FFM peg. I've been here before. Shortest one. Oh, colon maybe. Uh, hang on a second. Oh, uh, hang on a second. It's a positive sign. Uh, wow, I'm just zoning at this point. 20 seconds, oh my God. That was the number we were looking for. Switch, keep going. And then just end. That's it. Found it. That was a pain. Yeah, but so now I can make that stuff happen all magically. Um, This works crossfading between three files with trim happening, which kind of already was. This does it right. To do delete 06. Goodbye, 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 get rid of the files, sweet, okay, that's gonna do it, I solved it, so that is sweet, um, I am very tired, and 
ready to go to sleep. But I gotta wind down for a minute too before I can actually, that's the other trick with this. Like it's not immediately going to bed after this. I gotta like chill for a bit. Um, so I'm gonna go chill for a bit. See you, have a good night. Uh, good whatever day, time, things. See y'all. <laughs>